Created in 2004, Colorado's newest national park, Great Sand Dunes, also happens to be its sandiest. It is home to some of the largest sand dunes in the world, including the largest in North America. But even if you don't like sand, there's plenty more to this park than that. Let's check out Colorado's Park of Dunes. Great Sand Dunes may be a relatively recent addition to the National Park Service, coming in at number 58, however its history dates back long before it gained National Park status in 2004. The first evidence of human impact on the Great Sand Dunes area is over 11,000 years old, in the form of spearheads left up by nomadic hunters. While not much is known about these first travelers of the Great Sand Dunes area, there are some visitors we know a lot about. American explorers. In 1807, Zebulon Pike was commissioned to explore the west, following the path of the Arkansas River. While the fact that he found Great Sand Dunes means that he wasn't great at sticking to the course, Zebulon's journal entries about the dunes are recognized as the first written words about the Great Sand Dunes. In 1858, Fort Garland was built 20 miles outside of what would later become Great Sand Dunes National Park. While it was originally constructed as Fort Massachusetts in 1852, it was moved and renamed six years later. From 1876 to 1879, the fort was home to the Black Buffalo Soldiers, a group of African American soldiers who helped bring peace between the new American settlers and the Native American tribes throughout the Great Sand Dunes region. Throughout the latter half of the 19th century, several settlements and homesteads were built around the Great Sand Dunes region, with some of the most notable being the Trujillo homesteads. Also around that time, several gold and silver rushes sprung up all along the Rocky Mountain Range. Great Sand Dunes was not immune from this, and was pursued with particular interest by the volcanic mining company throughout the early 1900s. Afraid that the dunes could be destroyed by new mining techniques, such as filtering gold dust out of the sand, residents of the nearby towns turned to lobby politicians for national monument status. Their actions were very successful, resulting in a presidential order by President Herbert Hoover in 1932, creating Great Sand Dunes National Monument. In the late 1990s, a very similar movement sprung up with the new residents of the area, leading to Great Sand Dunes gaining official National Park and Reserve status in 2004. Today, thanks to the efforts of the area's past and current residents, Great Sand Dunes National Park is able to be enjoyed by all. Most trips to the Great Sand Dunes National Park should start at the Visitor Center, unless you are already familiar with the area. From there, the park's giant sand dunes are only a short drive away. The dunes can be walked on, but one of the most fun ways to enjoy them is by sand sled, on boards that can be rented from the park's visitor center. It is recommended to avoid these activities during midday and late spring and summer, however, due to the extremely high temperatures on the dunes. For a more full view of the entire dune field, visitors can hike up the first ridge of dunes, which overlook the rest of the field. One of the most notable dunes in the park is Star Dune, the tallest in North America. While it takes a long time to get to, the journey is definitely worth it to witness an amazing feat of nature. During the late spring and early summer, Medano Creek is also available for swimming and wading near the dunes parking area. Further down the road is the park's amphitheater, which is host to free ranger programs in the evening during the summer and fall. Past the amphitheater is the ominously named Point of No Return, the last section of the road that is accessible without four-wheel drive. This restriction is for good reason, however. Depending on the time of year, vehicles may face anything from soft sand to creek and river crossings. If your vehicle can pass this point, you can drive the rest on the Medano Pass Primitive Road. Along the road, visitors can see any of the 21 campgrounds on the northern side of the park, as well as Bighorn Chief. Also accessible on this side of the park are the upper and lower Sand Creek Lakes. These lakes are situated at the base of a 13,000 foot peak providing stunning views. By night, many different species of owl can be heard throughout the park. In fact, the park is home to several fascinating nocturnal creatures, including the tiger salamander and kangaroo rats, which can jump over five feet in the air. From stunning natural features to fascinating animals, Great Sand Dunes provides visitors with an amazing look into the beauty of the natural world.